Hey guys, I am Derek. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to introduce to you the types of common stock. First, blue chip stocks. In short, blue chips. Blue chips are those that are financially strong, high quality stocks with long and stable records of earnings and dividends. Long record means the company has been in the market for many years, while stable record means the company is able to maintain the profit and dividend distribution every year. Basically, these companies are the leaders in their industries. They have relatively lower risk due to the financial stability of company. Blue chips are popular with investing public who are looking for steady growth potential and perhaps dividend income. Many people believe that you will never go wrong for investing in blue chips. In the US, some examples of blue chips include Apple, Coca-Cola, and McDonald's. Whilst in Malaysia, examples include Malayan Bank, Public Bank, Tenaga National, and Petronas Gas. Next, income stocks. These are the stocks with long and sustained records of paying higher than average dividends, also known as dividend stocks. Income stocks are good for investors who are looking for relatively safe and high level of current income. Dividends tend to increase over time, unlike interest payments on bonds. Bond interest payments tend to be fixed, but dividends will grow. That's why dividend stocks could be a better investment. In the market, some companies pay high dividends because they offer limited growth potential. It is very common for companies that are selling consumer products. Although the company may not grow much, it will still generate stable income for the investors as the demand for the company's products tends to be stable. That's what we call a cash cow company. Cash cow companies tend to pay high dividend to the investors. In the US, some examples of income stocks include Verizon Communications, IBM, and BP. Whilst in Malaysia, examples include Nestle Malaysia, Dutch Lady Milk Industries, and British American Tobacco Malaysia. Next, growth stocks. These are the stocks that experience high rates of growth in operations and earnings. We typically measure the growth rate based on the revenue, EPS, or profit. Generally, growth stocks will have a sustained rate of growth in earnings above general market. If the company can maintain a growth rate of revenue at 10% every year for 5 years, it is likely to be called a sustainable rate of growth. Therefore, investors would expect higher price appreciation due to increasing earnings. The higher the profit, the higher the share price. But growth stocks are riskier investment because price may fall if earnings growth cannot be maintained. Typically, they pay little or no dividends. Growth stocks may include blue chip stocks as well as speculative stocks. Next, tech stocks. These are the stocks representing the technology sector of the market. Tech stocks may range from speculative stocks of small companies that have never shown a profit to blue chip stocks of large companies that are growth oriented. Because of their high growth potential, they may provide attractive returns to the investors. But at the same time, they have considerable risk and volatility. For valuation purpose, it would be difficult to put value on tech stocks due to erratic or no earnings. In the US, some examples of tech stocks include Apple, Microsoft, Alphabet, and Amazon.com. Whilst in Malaysia, examples include Vitrox, Greytech, and Pentamaster. The next is speculative stocks. Speculative stocks are those stocks that offer potential for substantial price appreciation, usually due to some special situation, such as a new product or probably a new company with good potential. These companies lack sustained track record of business and financial success. And the company's earnings may be uncertain or highly unstable. Therefore, speculative stocks are very risky but they have potential for substantial price appreciation. At the same time, stock prices are subject to wide swings up and down in value. Some examples of speculative stocks include certain small company tech stocks. Next, cyclical stocks. These are the stocks whose earnings and overall market performance are closely linked to the general state of the economy. They tend to do well when economy is growing, 
especially in early stages of economic recovery. They also tend to do poorly in slowing economy. Simply speaking, during good economy, cyclical stocks will have an increase in stock price as the companies earn more profit. However, during bad economy, as the company may have a drop in the profit, the stock price will also drop. Cyclical stocks are the best for investors who are willing to move in and out of market as economy changes. Some examples of cyclical sectors include food and beverage, automobile, airline and travel, manufacturing, and information technology. Whilst the examples of non-cyclical sectors, which will not be much affected by the economy include consumer staples, toothpaste, soap, shampoo, utilities, tobacco, healthcare, and telecom. Next, defensive stocks. These are the stocks that tend to hold their value and even do well when the economy starts to falter. Stock price of defensive stocks remains stable or increases when general economy is slowing. How to maintain the company's profit and stock price during bad economy? It depends on what products the company is selling. Products that people use in good times and bad times, such as electricity, beverages, foods and drugs, tend to form a defensive stock. Gold stocks are also a form of defensive stock. Defensive stocks are the best for aggressive investors who are looking for a parking place during slow economy. Utilities companies are an example of defensive stocks. Alright, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.